Hare Krishna, Gauranga. So I wanted to um, make a few points on uh, the perfect program, the ideal program for devotees. There's many things that I used to see as a brahmacharya that devotees would do to keep fired up, to keep Krishna conscious at all times. For example, when waking up in the morning, a lot of devotees quote shlokas, like the shikshashtakam, or they sing the gurvastakam, and then do the translations, or they'll do the makundamala stotra, or the purusha shukta, or whatever it is, you know, there's, there's, that's one thing. Um, other things is devotees will get up early, read before they chant, then chant their rounds, devotees will listen to lectures, so on and so forth. But there's one guaranteed program recommended by most of the senior devotees, and we can see how fantastic their preaching is, uh, is to daily connect with the lectures, then the kirtans, and of course, obviously the books of Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada is our founder Acharya, and is also, and most importantly, a pure devotee of the Lord. So we know that there's many advanced devotees in our Hare Krishna movement, but we can absolutely guarantee that there is a pure devotee, which is Srila Prabhupada, and all his classes and his lectures, his conversations are all recorded. So we're able to connect to that wonderful sound vibration of Srila Prabhupada's voice. And in that, take his association. Srila Prabhupada, um, he's, he... Uh, you know, spoke on so many different topics of Krishna consciousness to so many devotees, to so many um, interview interviewees from different faiths, you know, scientists, priests, you know, monks from other groups, so on and so forth. And we're able to see how he powerfully preached Krishna consciousness to them. And of course, his kirtans, uh, Prabhupada used to say that his, his kirtan was uh, Vaikuntha kirtan. He himself said, yeah, my harmonium is a bit different, my kirtan style is a bit different, you know. Because he was chanting Shudanam, pure holy name. And of course we understand that there's two types of association. There's the Vapu and the Vani. Vapu means the physical association. So the devotees who obviously got to associate with Srila Prabhupada or associate with, say, our current spiritual masters. And then the Vani is associating with the words. And there's many examples in our scriptures of who, who were successful in those different ways. Like, for example, Narada Muni, he physically, in his previous birth, as the son of a maidservant, he physically associated and served the Mahabhagavat devotees of the Lord. And in that, he gained pure Krishna consciousness and was able, as a small child, to go off into the woods, see Krishna in the heart in his meditation, and then spend the rest of his life as a devotee, to the degree that he was able to, of course, then take birth from Lord Brahma as Narada Muni. And then as Narada Muni, well into his, his uh, pastimes, travelling all over the world, or the universe for that matter, he uh, imparted spiritual knowledge to Kayadu, the wife of Hiranyakashipu. And of course, the most famous Prahlad Maharaj was in her womb. So he heard... Narada Muni's words and you know his Devani of Narada Muni and he went on to become a pure devotee or he was a pure devotee even, even in the womb so there's two really powerful examples and we are always able to keep connection to Srila Prabhupada Prabhupada says that he'll live on through his books which of course means he also lives on through his lectures, his conversations and his kirtans so it's an easy thing to do we can stick on the earphones you know, listen to Srila Prabhupada's lectures while we're cooking, listen to them while we're cleaning, listen to them while we're jogging, while we're working, you know, especially nowadays we're all trapped at home due to this COVID pandemic. What better chance now to put the Prabhupada lecture on in the house? You don't have to worry about your um, management in the office saying, oh, what's this you're playing and asking you questions or challenging your choice of music. Now you have the whole house, you can play Prabhupada happily. So it's a special time to try and keep that connection to pure vibration. And the other thing as well that comes from that is um, Shudanam. It's very, very, very important to hear the purest holy name. Yes, our own chanting is to varying degrees beneficial, but Shudanam is that topmost chanting that destroys all the apparats, destroys all the uh, anathas in the heart, and of course it completely frees us 
from entanglement in the material world. Only that should enough. So how do we come into connection to that if we're not chanting it ourselves? We can keep trying, we can keep sincerely chanting japa, you know, reading chapters of books before we do it or after we do it. We can hear lectures in the Holy Name. But just simply get connected to a pure Mahabhagavat devotee who's chanting Shuddhanam and that we will be lifted up. Just as they say that if one comes into the presence of a pure devotee, Prabhupada's, you could say, physical presence is there in the power of the Holy Name. Because he's chanting pure Shuddhanam in his kirtans and when he speaks Krishna's name in his lectures. So this is something that's easy to do, really, really easy to do. And the another thing as well that I was thinking about is um, the other part of the powerful program that we should do every night to really connect deeper to Krishna consciousness is reading the Krishna book. Srila Prabhupada himself used to read Krishna book. And he actually stated on many different times that if you read Krishna book, you'll dream about Krishna. You know, that was one thing he said. He also said that if you read books, you will save your life. And he said, if you simply read Krishna book, and he mentioned Bhagavad Gita teaches a lot of time of devotion, so pretty much all the main books that he wrote. But he said that as long as you are reading, the sun is unable to take your life, right? So the duration of life will be longer because you're reading Krishna book. And he also said that you know, if, if you're struggling to chant the holy name, okay, stop reading the whole, stop chanting the holy name, and then read the books, and then come back to the chanting, because that's the program: reading, chanting, eating, dancing for Krishna, you know, thinking about Krishna, and that's that's what you know what it is. Krishna book is just another form of chanting because you're glorifying Krishna. My Guru Maharaj Jananda Goswami, he spoke about that in one lecture that back in the early days, devotees had five classes a day. Not just the Shuman Bhagavatam class in the morning, but they had Bhagavad Gita class at night, they had Krishna book reading. Of course, at that time, they only had a few books in the early 70s, 71, 72. Prabhupada was still writing the books. So every book that they got, they were hungry for that next book to come. So they were reading Krishna book every night, and when they were in the kitchen, they were cooking, they were eagerly discussing these pastimes. And they were actually getting that effect, you know, of dreaming about Krishna being eager to hear about Krishna and relishing Krishna's pastimes. So these two powerful practices, hearing every day the lectures of Srila Prabhupada or the Kirtans and reading Krishna book before we go to bed, these two are a guaranteed fast-track program for advancing in Krishna consciousness. Everything else that you're doing, continue to do, of course. You know, learn shlokas, you know, go deep in your practice of Prasadam making, you know, make the different elaborate meals to offer to Krishna. If you're a pujari, you know, you can learn all the samskars, you can learn the different mudras or, you know, practice the different uh, mantras for whatever it is, putting the deities to rest, or if you're learning or you're an expert, whatever it is, you know, this can go to different processes and different groups, so on and so forth, you know. If you're a book to Shibura, just keep working on your purity, keep reading the book so that you'll have more knowledge to pass on. But within all that, do those two extra practices, Prabhupada's lectures and kirtans, and Krishna book before bed. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, nitai, gora, premanandi, hari hari bo.